Good morning guys. It is absolutely freezing in our house this morning. Our temperature in the house just does not regulate because whenever it's sunny, it gets too hot. And then whenever it's not sunny, it gets too cold. Because the sun brings so much warmth into our house, it's crazy. Even if it's like a colder day, so then we turn our thermostat down, then it still gets hot. So I don't know why this place just can't regulate its temperature. We have air conditioning, heating, all that, but it just... We always have to change the thermostat depending on if it's sunny or not. But anyways, I'm just heating up my bone broth. Joel and I are going to the gym this morning. Um, I'm just going to take you guys along a week in my life. How to slay your week and how to stay motivated and all that because I feel like I've been on a really good grind recently. I've just been feeling super motivated. And before this, I was in a rut, I would say, and I wasn't feeling super motivated. So it's nice to now be on the other spectrum of that where I feel super motivated now again and I feel inspired to work out, to wake up early and I just am really happy and yeah, inspired. Anyways, um, going 15 minutes later today, it's currently around like 5.45 so I gotta leave. I'm just waiting till my thing heats up and then we're gonna go. I have to finish my taxes today and that's like the most disgusting thing for me to think about because I've been procrastinating these for months and um i did half of them yesterday so i'm really proud of myself for doing that but i do have to do the other half of them today so that sucks but i know that if i get when i get them done i'm gonna feel so much better and it's just gonna be i'm gonna be a lot more mentally clear once i have them done so i'm ex i'm excited to get them done but i'm not excited to actually do them i was like brain dead yesterday i, I worked on them for like eight hours and i still only got halfway and I was, I'm not kidding you, I was brain dead. Like, I couldn't even think. I just, my body was tired. It was so weird. Anyways, okay, we have to head out. Cheers to the start of the week. Um, let's go to the gym. When they say she get it from her mama, mama say you walk right, body will respond for like, do me in the home type. Tell me, is you now? Cause I'm trying to. Okay guys, just made myself a smoothie and just got back from the gym. This is so good. It's the Good Protein Chocolate um, Protein Powder. I love it so much. It's been my favorite recently. I'm actually almost running out. But I'm just going to go take a shower now because I was really sweating in the sauna. And then get ready for the day. I think I'm going to wash my hair too because it's super greasy. So I'm going to do full body shower today, drink my shake, and then we're going to get to work for the day. We just got to the grocery store, gonna go grocery shopping since we need groceries for the week. I just was writing a list because Joel's with me and he was driving. I was writing the list. I think for this week's dinner, we're gonna do chicken wings. Those are so easy. We get them at Meridian Meats and pop in the oven, have a salad, good protein, good meal, easy, done. Cause we're gonna have that tonight. Cause I've been doing my taxes all day so far i haven't had time for really anything else but a little bit of editing and filming this morning and my taxes are just taking me forever it's so much stress i just want to get them done but i also have video to submit i don't know i'm literally overwhelmed guys but grocery shop shopping needs to happen so i'm just carving a bit of time out of my day today to do that but anyways we're gonna head in i'm gonna try to be super quick because like i said i'm very 
busy today and I just want to get my stupid tuxes done. Ugh. Literally want to throw up. Anyways, okay, let's go. little overview grocery haul i'm gonna go through this really quick we kind of got a pink theme going on and i love it so i just got some garlic powder some breakfast sausages and i really wanted to try this strawberry rhubarb dairy free ice cream raspberry jam some truvia this is like stevia so i want to put this in my coffee because it's zero calorie sweetener it's just good to have when i don't want to be consuming too much sugar because sugar just really makes me flare sometimes and then I got some teriyaki sauce just to have on hand, some bone broth, some coffee. This is a new coffee we've never tried before, so I'm excited in the packaging. 10 out of 10, that's what drew us to it right off the bat. Cute and pink, I'll buy anything cute and pink. I got two salad kits, bananas, they're super ripe though. Strawberries, I got these organic little cute rainbow carrots. Got some frozen broccoli, it's good just to have on hand if I ever want to whip up a stir fry. Mushrooms kombucha, zevia, Amy's burritos. These are the best chips ever. Please buy them. And then I just got some Greek yogurt, lots of protein, some popcorn, chocolate chips, and then we stopped at Meridian and got chicken wings that we're gonna have tonight for dinner, and then some honey garlic pork chops. Hey guys, I just finished the bulk, the bulk of my taxes. I still have a little bit of work to do on them, but I'm just gonna finish the last of what I need to get done for them tomorrow and then potentially drop them off to the accountant tomorrow. But I'm actually so tired. Like, I don't even know. I can't think straight. For some reason, doing taxes just makes me a thousand times more exhausted than anything else. Anyways, I was just watching some Vanderpump Rules and eating dinner because it is currently 8 o'clock and I just finished. I had to enjoy some TV though for a bit, half an hour-ish, before I head up and get ready for bed. Today was a long, 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 long day on the computer. My eyes hurt. But I did get a couple Amazon packages. So I've been wanting to make some kitchen upgrades because initially buying things for our kitchen, we bought a lot of just like cheap makeshift stuff when we first moved into our apartment. We didn't have anything when we initially moved in. So we just bought, you know, whatever we could find. We didn't really think things through and whatever. So now I feel like it's a good time to start upgrading those types of things. We're just like little by little get a couple things each month if I want to upgrade something. So I bought a new knife set this is so adult to be excited about but look at how cute the knives are white so they're gonna match the kitchen so 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 nicely and the block is such a nice like woody tone i hate my knives right now they're so bad and those are one of the things we cheaped out on as well so this was a well needed upgrade especially because i cook a lot really happy about that and then i also got a new this is actually really heavy a new pots and pans set these even weren't even that expensive i got them off amazon i will link both of these down below but I'm gonna open them and give you guys a haul because I'm really, really, really excited. Getting new kitchen stuff, getting new like house furniture, appliances 
is so exciting to me. This is only something that you'll understand once you reach adulthood and, you know, live on your own. But I get excited about a vacuum. I get excited about, I don't even know, like a mug. Like, it's just crazy. Cute. I love this shade of wood. It matches the kitchen perfectly. And then I'm assuming I gotta unbox knives from here. Look at how nice. I'm so excited for this upgrade. Oh my god. Here is the new knife set. It looks so much better than my last one. I am obsessed. Wow, it just looks so shiny and nice on the counter. And now it matches like the kitchen aesthetic. I'm obsessed. I should have done this a long time ago, but it was just kind of one of those things that I didn't really notice or think about. But now that it's here, it makes a huge, huge difference in the kitchen. Obsessed. Okay, now for the big boy pots and pans box. Open that up. This is like a really big heavy box as she should be actually Cute look at these. Oh my god. This is so cute Should have done this a long time ago, but like I said, just one not one of those things that I was paying attention to Gerwin Look at how Freaking cute. I love it So aesthetic this is called their white granite collection stunning Cute little mini or medium small pan this is actually a really nice size pan i have one like an old one that's a size but the edges aren't as like up and this is really good for like a stir fry or something oh my gosh one more damn and then this is the last part this here just to compare the size difference i'm so happy and like re-inspired to cook i just was vibing like our pans are just deteriorating i swear and these are also kind of on the cheaper side they were like this set was only like a hundred bucks maybe on amazon the thing is with me is to be quite honest i'm not going to go spend like 500 dollars on like the best quality pan set because i change aesthetics all the time like i go through phases where i really like something and i then i don't like it anymore so if i don't like it in a year or two from now but i paid 500 dollars for it i'm not going to get rid of it you know but if it was something cheap it doesn't matter so because it's going to deteriorate in anyways and then i can buy like from a new different style so anyways that's just my thought process when it comes to these types of things i feel like i can just like whack somebody right now i'm gonna put these away i should probably wash them not happening tonight though and then I'm gonna get ready for bed because it is getting late and i'm exhausted today and here is everything all together do you guys see my vibe of what i mean how it just like matches the kitchen better love the aesthetic and this just makes me so inspired to cook so catch me chefing up some meals now some new meals <laughs> i'm actually so happy with these they look so much better than the old ones good morning you guys i don't know if you can hear but the birds are starting to chirp now in the morning and coming into the bathroom i'm starting to hear the birds chirp i don't know if you can hear that but they're so cute and it's such like a soothing sound it reminds me of summer obviously we are powering through this week guys we are completely powering through i didn't get to bed until like 9 45 which isn't horrible last night but i definitely could have slept in an extra hour or two because i am tired but persevering or slaying this week okay this is how you slay the week and get stuff accomplished is you stick to your word when that alarm goes off in the morning it's so easy to just shut her off and not go work out not get what you want to get done accomplished but at the end of the day you set goals for yourself for a reason and you have to remember that and you have to remember why that's what gets me out of bed in the morning is remembering why i'm doing it remembering my goals i set for myself how they're going to make me feel it's so important to do that for yourself otherwise once the alarm rings you're not going to get out of, out of bed I'm not saying you have to wake up super early or anything to accomplish your goals but if you do want to work out get stuff done you have to have some sort of determination in your life so yeah honestly like waking up and working out first thing it makes me feel amazing because then i'm home i got the rest of my day don't need to worry about my you know physical activity and if i don't get any physical activity in a day i just don't feel good i don't feel my best i don't function properly it's also like a weird mental game with myself that it's like i almost need it for me to function good and be productive but once i do get it it just sets my day up for success and makes me really really happy especially in the long run so 
it's definitely worth the short-term sacrifice and that's also something that i'm really implementing in 2024 is doing more things that benefit my long-term self that is a sacrifice short-term that my future self will thank me for because i am a master procrastinator and i always leave things to the last minute to get them done and then i always screw myself over last minute so i know my future self will thank me for this you know what i mean anyways let's get ready for the gym and let's go get a good nice workout in. we're not doing too much at the gym today just gonna be some cardio treadmill 12 to 30 probably and then maybe some abs and sauna just get the body moving <laughs> Okay guys, all ready for my workout today. I got this new Aritzia Butter Top, their new TNA Gold, uh, sorry, Aritzia Gold line. And I am obsessed with it. It's just so like flattering, fitting. I love the sleeves. I love how it covers my back because I don't always want like my back exposed at the gym. And I love how it's just perfect. I love a good layering moment. It's so in right now and I'm obsessed with this top. I'll try to find it and link it for you guys. But this is the gym fit, just wanna be comfy, cute. I got my bone broth and we're gonna head out right now. Got my classic New Balances on to complete the gym outfit. Cheers, Joel and I are going together. So it's really, it's really nice having a workout buddy because it holds you accountable and he actually gets my booty out of bed. So cheers, let's go work out. Like jelly. I'm but I'm still in the deli. With my and he like him a ready. He want the walk, but I just want the And I'm his I'm Call me that B while he eating my honey. You know niggas love bitches with money. I get a lot. Taking a spot. If you ain't cooking, then get off the pot. My name Ice, but I always stay hot. Passenger princess, he passed me his knock. That is no bitch from my block. Me and Maddie's be getting along. So they always be singing my song. Stepping outside, I'ma put that shit on. 300 and then I perform. You know I'ma get to the bag. All the hating bitches to the back. Too much to lose, so I cannot react. Damn bitches be going outside. She a baddie, she showing her panties. She shaking like jelly. Damn, like jelly. Honey, damn, this is... Than the monster? What? That's surprising. Oh, breakfast in the oven but i'm making my yam potato sweet bowl which is like my favorite breakfast and uh, joel and i stopped at a gas station on the way home from the gym because i was like walking on the treadmill and for some reason i just was thinking of a celsius and i'm like i really feel like a celsius i haven't had a celsius in a long time and i was just craving one and so i got myself one and he got a different energy drink but slay gonna be my little caffeine for the day i got a good sauna in too after the gym which felt nice i was supposed to wash my hair yesterday and it's gotten so greasy so i've been just sleeking it up to be honest i don't even know if i'm going to wash it today which is disgusting because i've been leaving it go for so long now but talia and i are recording our podcast today and we're doing video for the first time so go subscribe to the youtube channel if you haven't already the video will be out as you're seeing this video i will link it down below but we're recording that and i wanted to wash my hair for it but if i'm honest i have so many things to get done today i don't think i will have time to style my hair and when i wash my hair i have to style it because my hair is crazy so i there's not there's not like a world i live in that i can just wash my hair and let it air dry only when I have like a fresh keratin treatment, but I don't have one right now. But anyway, so yeah, I really just don't want to put in the hour that it takes to style my hair today. I just don't think I'm going to have the time for it because I need, 
I just got news that I have to get a whole video edited by today. I just have to do that. I have to finish my taxes because I still have to do a little bit more work for them, drop them off, record the podcast, and I have like 12 hours of editing to do. So that's great. So it doesn't look like there's going to be any hairstyling time in my future right now. I have a full day today. So anyways, I'm just going to finish my breakfast, eat, shower, and then get right on my computer to start working. And then I can figure out my hair tomorrow. This is definitely Nita for today. Cheers. This is the only flavor they had. It's their kiwi guava. This one's yummy. So I'm usually lazy when it comes to washing fruit, but I just saw this video on TikTok of somebody dissecting an unwashed strawberry and there were worms on it. So I'm like, hell no. So I'm doing a little vinegar soak. This is just water with a little bit of vinegar mixed in because, ew, I know they're only like microscopic bugs, but that's still disgusting. So we're gonna be washing our fruits from now on and we're gonna wash it good. So I'm gonna let these soak for, I don't even know how long, an hour or whatever, and then we're gonna put them back in the fridge in their little crate. Don't wanna be eating no bugs, even though it's probably inevitable, but I definitely don't wanna be eating ones I don't have to eat. Hey guys, I just got ready to record the podcast. This is my first time actually getting myself like ready for it because we are doing video, which I'm so excited about. So I will put a little clip of it in here for sneak peek, but it'll be linked down below. I'm so excited, but my hair, like I said, super greasy. So I did what I could with it, put it sleep back in a bun, and then I put this cute little bow in it. I think it looks good. I wanted to keep the outfit super simple. I just have a gray long sleeve on with jeans and Talia is gonna come pick me up. We're gonna go get a little cute drink for the episode. Probably gonna get a matcha and then come back and record. She's only gonna be here for about two hours because I have a lot of editing to do today. So it's gonna be quick record plan things and then that's the vibe for right now So i'm excited already. She's gonna be here in like five minutes The podcast makes me so 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 like passionate and motivated and inspired. It's something new I feel like that play is a big part in it and I just love talking in a mic you guys It just I don't know what it is But something comes out of me that I didn't know was there and I love talking into a mic So go listen to me And this is the little Outfit just got my Salma's on jeans are from white fox tops from target and then the little mini bot purse And that is the vibe I'm gonna head out now Maybe I've talked about it like once on my channel, but it's not something I bring up often so nobody would just assume all oh, this girl has barely any friends or feels this way, you know? Yeah. So it's funny because no one's going to just assume you struggle with certain things, you know, behind the scenes. Yeah. And there's a lot that goes on in everybody's lives that you never really know, which is crazy. Mm -hmm. Social media can hide so much yeah. and that's why it's <laughs> going back to comparison. It's important not to or try not to as much as possible to you know compare your lives or physical appearance or whatever it is to yeah. other people because you never know the truth you, you never, never know and people assume and assuming just makes ass out of you and me that is why it's felt that way yeah but yeah it's comparison it, it's a crazy thing what a long day again i just finished having dinner and watching just half an hour of Vanderpump Rules because I'm obsessed. Oh my gosh, that show is so addicting, but I haven't had much time to watch it recently Just like half an hour in the evenings But that'll suffice because I need my Vanderpump Rules times like I can't go from working Straight to bed. I need a little buffer, you know, I need to have a little bit of a relaxation time Whether that's on my phone watching TV. There's just no way I can go from working to bed like that it Feels good to be productive. Honestly, it really does. But so we recorded the podcast. It was such a good episode you guys go and listen i got or we both actually got really really vulnerable 
in the episode and i've never really opened up like that here on youtube as much and i don't know i just feel like the podcast is a really good place if you guys want to get to know me better and we talked about how social media is fake and yeah it was just a really good episode i am so excited for the podcast i just had a burrito for dinner microwave burrito because i just didn't have the energy to cook and i too busy for that this week so microwave burrito it is and now i'm gonna go up do my skincare get ready for bed and we're gonna do it all over again tomorrow tomorrow is joel's birthday i don't know if i'm gonna film i don't know what we're doing tomorrow he might not even take it off of work so we'll see what happens but i definitely do want to make tomorrow special for him so we're not actually like celebrating his birthday tomorrow technically because he we're doing something on the weekend but it is his actual birthday tomorrow so i want to do a little something for him probably go for breakfast or something yeah i've been posting like day in my lives morning routines and stuff on youtube shorts and also on tiktok so go catch up with that content because i'll definitely be making like a morning routine video tomorrow let me go to the gym and stuff but yeah i also might drop off my taxes tomorrow because i didn't have time to do that today so that would actually be smart to do tomorrow probably i also had a really exciting announcement in the podcast that youtube is not going to find out for another couple weeks so if i were you i would go listen to that because it is a very 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 exciting announcement but anyways i'm gonna go wash my makeup off because it feels gross at this point like i need to wash her off so good night guys i love you so much and i will see you next time i pick up the camera good night Squarespace for sponsoring today's video. If you guys don't already know what Squarespace is, they are the all-in-one website platform to help entrepreneurs stand out and also succeed online. Whether you're just starting out making your own business or you're already doing a business and have a successful one, Squarespace makes it super, super easy to design a beautiful website, engage with your audience, and sell literally anything from products to time to content, all on your own terms. So you could start a completely personalized website with their new guided design system, Squarespace Blueprint. You could choose from professionally curated layout and styling options to build a unique online presence from the ground up, tailored to your brand or your business, and optimized for every device. You can also easily launch your website and get discovered fast with integrated, optimized SEO tools so you show up more often to more people and grow the way you want. Squarespace also has super flexible payment options so that you can make the checkout process and payment process on your website super seamless for your customers. You can accept Apple Pay, credit cards, PayPal, and also in eligible countries, you can offer your customers to buy now and to pay later. So yeah, Squarespace just makes it super, super easy to sell really anything online and you yourself can even be an entrepreneur. Squarespace just has all the tools you need to start your selling online journey. Go check out squarespace.com and start your free trial today. And then when you're ready, you can head to my link, squarespace.com slash Michaela Bento, and you could save yourself 10% off your first purchase of a website or a domain. Vancouver 
We're trying these new little drinks. They're seven. Whoa, I just got a deja vu, Madison. I just got a really weird deja vu. This is actually so insane. I always get, I'm uh, not always. Sometimes I get these really weird deja vus and it's really creepy, but it just goes to show that you're on track. Anyways, we tried these new 7-Up drinks. Cheers. They're good, 10 out of 10. Obviously, zero really, sugar, really good. Sense. Not saying aspartame is better, but too much sugar is not good because it makes you have bad hangover. So, we went to Brandy Melville. I'll show you guys a haul, but it was fun. I mean, I only go there like once a year because it's downtown and um, it's like a drive out here. So, it's tastes the same. I know, it just has a hint of lemon. Boom. Ugh, my hair's kind of fallen a lot since I, I, I curled my hair this morning and it's fallen a lot. Anyways, I can't wait to show you guys my haul from Brandy because it's a big one. It was so busy in there. It was honestly it was stressful. Disgusting. It's not like you could just take your time and shop around and like pick your selections. No, like I had to just rush it, kind of just be like, okay, I'm just gonna get this, this, and this, and that, and then check out, and that was it because there was like 50 girls in there, probably 50, and it was just so overcrowded. Mine for the change rooms was like 50 people, so I didn't try anything on. So I hope everything it's fits. It's one size though, so. Yeah, I mean, you can't really do much. I, for I forgot it was one size in there. And I was looking, I was like, okay, I need to find a size small. And I was looking at the tags and I'm like, oh my God, wait, it's one size everything, I forgot. But anyway, so the outfit for tonight, my body suit is from Princess Polly. I've done a haul with this in it before. So if you guys seen that, you know. And I have no idea where these pants are from. They're from a random brand that sent them to me. I don't really remember. Oh, you can't even see my pants. But they're like wide-legged cargos. And then I'm gonna wear my leather jacket from Princess Polly over top with my Adidas Sambas. Get your outfit details. Um, Amazon Skim Dupes long sleeve shirt. And I thrifted these flare beige cargos. Also, it was so funny because there is a Sheen pop-up that's going on right now in Vancouver. We walked past it and there was a huge line, mostly girls honestly, waiting to get into Sheen. Actually, there was a lot of males and I was just kind of like, what? Wait, mean, there was? Yeah. I, mean, I wasn't really looking, but there's a huge long line of people and then right in front of the line of people, there were protesters being like, boycott Sheen, Sheen is horrible, whatever. And it was just so funny seeing that because the protesters were like going in their faces with like their signs when they were waiting in line. Why is there a sheen pop up? Like what like, what is that gonna do? And how long is it gonna be here? It's it's only for like five days. Oh, not even like three or four. What is the point of that? Like what is the point of that? <gasps> like look at that. She just doesn't curl. We're going for beach wipes today. <laughs> morning you guys today we are babysitting little Dawson this is Joel's family's dog how cute is he we have him for the week and he's gonna be in the background of my videos probably so if you hear a dog pitter pattering it's Dawson so mr. 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 Dawson hello I still have my pajama shorts on today and my little comfy, cozy socks. Madison bought me these pajamas. How cute are they? We had such a fun weekend downtown for Joel's birthday. So happy we did that. And it's just fun to do a little staycation sometimes, especially if it's for like an event or whatever. I feel like we barely do stuff like that. And you can make a little mini vacation in your own city. You know what I mean? Just get a hotel for the night and have fun. But anyway, so I did some damage at Brandy Melville. And I'm going to give you guys a little bit of a haul. Okay, so the first thing I got from Brandy is this little cute tank top. It's black. It's just super cute. I love the little like lace ruched neckline. Brandy just has the little cutest tank tops ever. Can't resist. They're just perfect to throw on at any time. So I got this cute little black one. 
And then I also got this cream little tank top with lace and a bow. You put lace and a bow together and I am swiping my card. Like you are getting my money. How cute is this? And then I got this little floral tank top moment. I only had so much floral, like floral is so in right now, but how cute is this just for the summer? I'm so excited and the spring, obviously. The warm seasons is upon us and it's supposed to be sunny all week this week. And I'm so excited. How adorable is she? And then I just got this a square neck gray top. I swear I can have like own a thousand just like neutral color t-shirts like this and I will wear all of them. Stocking up on stuff like this, I know it's gonna be like a staple wear so I know I'm gonna wear this like a thousand times over. And then I actually got that exact same t-shirt but she's in pink. I love this little pink color, especially for the spring and the summer. And then I wanted to get a little bit of a different t-shirt so I got this blue striped one and I don't know, this is just such a cute little vibe thrown on with a pair of jeans, shorts, a skirt, a nice comfy t-shirt. And then the next tank top I got is just this light pink one with the bow how cute love the little pink color tank top with matching pair of shorts this is just for loungewear slash pajamas i guess i can't resist i can't say no to a matching set like this there's just it's so cute and then i got these cute little shorts with a red floral print on them which is adorable and then i also got the same kind of style of material but pink striped and then i got this little blue striped bralette i just always wear bralettes and i realize i need more of them this one's super cute you can wear them with a shirt over top or i would just even wear it like this in the summer and then i got this little lace bralette and look at that little bow in there so cute last thing i got are these red sweats they have open leg at the bottom and they're low-waisted they're just a vibe i don't know i love just pants like this you could throw on with a tank top even in the summer like a summer night out to go watch the sunset just comfy pants to put on and i don't know this red color is kind of unique it's kind of like burgundy and i really like it slay that's all that i got today i'm just taking things pretty slow i need to like clean the kitchen and just organize the house get it ready for the week ahead that's the vibe for today i'm gonna end off today's video here because i'm gonna start a new video tomorrow but i love you guys so 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 much thank you for watching yeah i'm so excited to be posting twice a week and i hope you guys are enjoying the videos i'll see you guys in my next one don't forget to subscribe to my podcast i'll have everything linked down below and i will see you guys in my next video